Hi everyone, I'm Lee. And I'm Fletch. And welcome, welcome to, to our kitchen. This week we're going to have a go at making our own bacon. We haven't done it before, so... We're going to give it a crack, yeah? Yeah, give it a yeah. crack. Yeah. What, what can we lose? And Lee knows I don't like to throw any food out, so I'll eat it even if it is crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first thing Lee did was trim the top here, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, so I trimmed some of the fat back. Um, There's still probably a little bit too much. Um, and tried to do it as smooth as possible, but my knife skills aren't quite there. Um, we're going to be doing bacon two different ways. We're going to make our own cure, give that a go and see what happens. And then we've also picked up some of this um, as well and ordered that in. That's, what's that stuff? So this is the Misty Gully Smokehouse Flavours. And you just want to make sure it's nice and square and as smooth as possible because you know, at the end of the day, this is going to be your end product. So one of the first things we need to do, um, I've already had a look at the pack before. So we've done our trimming up. I'm just going to chuck this on the scale so then we can see how much weight we're starting off with. All right, so we're just over three kilos. So 3,250 grams. All right, so I'll take that off. All right, so this says um, to use 40 grams of the cure per kilogram of meat, 130 grams. So we'll see how we go. All right, so that's 130 exactly. So I'll pass that on to you. All right, so I'll just rub it in. Yep, so you rub it in, so we've just got to make sure we go over all the surfaces, oh. all the little cracks and etc. on the sides. And if you don't know us, Lee's a foodie. I can't cook because I am myself. <laughs> if you can't tell. Alright, so once we've got this cure in there, we're actually going to partially vac seal. So I'm going to leave a little bit of air in there because it is um, the cure will release some moisture um, as it's going through its curing process. And then we leave it in the fridge for up to eight days. So it says approximately one day per 500 grams. With that, we're probably looking at about six days or so, uh, but no longer than eight days. It feels like it's going to taste good. Well, it smells good from here. I can definitely smell the maple. All right, and then I'll give this a quick vacuum seal. All right, so that's our first one with the dry cure. Uh, we're just gonna put that in the fridge for six to seven days. And then every 24 hours, we're just gonna turn it. Oh, so it's like cheese. It is, is it? a little bit, oh. yeah. Well, we actually make cheese as well, so. So this is one down, and now we're just gonna go and repeat the process with these four. That's right, we've gone through, done this, kind of figured out what works, what doesn't. Um, so yeah. One little tip is just wipe your bag, make sure it's nice and clean because the little bits of salt and it won't seal. Yeah, but I think we managed to get a pretty good seal, so that's yeah. good. It shouldn't yeah. leak in the You'll notice the it's not vacuumed all the way, we wanted it a little bit loose. Because we're going to have some moisture that's going to come out as well. So, chuck that over there, and while we're doing that, we're just going to start trimming, I think. Yeah.
So now that all these have been dry rubbed, vacuum sealed, I reweighed them and we've got 14.7 kilos of bacon just sitting here. We've still got two more uh, big lots to do. So I'll put these in the fridge and then we can start on the brine for the ham. What? This is the technical way that you weigh things. Use the bathroom scales. Eight kilos. Cool. Awesome. All right, so while Fletch is doing that, I'm going to make up some brine. So we're going to use some of our cure number one. Just going to make sure we make everything exactly. And then I'm also going to use this for the rest of the bacon. This was eight point something kilos I just weighed. So that's a big ham. It is a big ham. But the idea of this was to do what we're doing and then get a meat slicer, we'll slice it and freeze it as we go so we don't waste any. And eight kilos of ham, that should last us, well, we have half kilo a week, so 16 weeks. Yeah, so, what do you got in here? So we got 50 grams of the cure number one from Mr. Gully. We got, actually we got 100 grams because we're making a double batch. Uh, 700 grams of the kosher salt. And now I'm gonna put in 450 of brown sugar. Then we've got some aromatics. So what I'm going to do is actually toast some of them. Also got some smoke powder here as well. And I might add a dash of that. These will give it a nice smoky flavor. Yep. We are going to smoke them anyway, but. Ooh. Oh, yeah, smells amazing. Then we're going to put all our aromatics in. So. So we've got all those ingredients, which are really important. So in here I've got some mustard seeds, some cinnamon quills, some coriander seeds, some black peppercorns, and some bay leaves. So they're all in there. I am gonna add a little bit of the fennel seeds, with a little bit of star anise in there, and a few more black peppercorns, and a tiny bit of garlic powder as well. In the big frying pan. No, it's only the little one. So all we want to do is just get these to release some of their flavors. Okay, the ham fits in the tub, which is good. So now we've got our brine ringed over here. Now it has cooled down. So you just got to make sure that it's not too hot. If it is too hot, people recommend that you put ice blocks in. Yep, ice blocks, chuck it in the fridge, do whatever you need to do. All right, now because we have a, how many kilos? 8.3, I think it is. 8.3 kilo, we need to make sure that we're injecting till we get as much of the brine into the ham as possible. Make sure it's actually submerged as well. So you can do that if you want. You need to pump the ham with usually 25% of its weight. So two litres, and this is 45 mils. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here all night. So now we're gonna put the pig bones and hocks into the smoker. This bit gets me excited because it always means yummy food. So 
We've got a Pip Boss pellet smoker, and we can keep that running for over 24 hours if, if we want to. We found this um, a good addition to our house. So I'll, I'll um, get them in. So these have been in the fridge for 24 hours because I've got to get the helical. And uh, just, now we've just got to put them in the, the smoker, get them going. These bones, they're going to be for soups and just flavour for like whatever. So these hocks have been dry curing for four days now and these will be perfect for Penham soups. Alright, so we've just pulled these out of the smoker, 16 hours, low and slow, um, and then we've bought the temperature up to about 110 degrees Celsius uh, until the internal temperature reached 65 degrees. We left it there for about an hour, and then we've pulled them out. So these would have cured, so they'll be like ham, and then we've used the smoking process to actually uh, preserve the bones. So they'll be really good for soups and stews and stuff like that, and adding lots of flavour. So that's it for those. We're gonna vacuum seal those up and put them in the freezer. And then next up will be the bacon. So it's a week later after we've done the bones and then we've done the bacon after it's been in a dry rub and this is the brine one. We smoked those over the weekend. The ham took a little bit longer so we didn't really film that. It took a long time to get the internal temperature up. Pretty happy with how this bacon turned out, the brine. You can see the difference between the brine and the dry rub. I think my favorite at the moment is the dry rub bacon. Uh, so uh, we couldn't find us a meat slicer locally without spending nearly a thousand dollars. So we brought a big knife. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it into the ham and see if it's cooked properly. We got the internal temperature to 71 degrees Celsius. So let's cut into it and see. Oh, perfect. Okay, now Leah stepped in. We'll uh, give it a bit of a slice and test some. kilos of bacon. Yep, so we got 20 kilos of bacon. 8 kilos of ham. Yep. So we're sorted. For we are. We are sorted. Months. We've got all those bones as well. They're in the freezer already and the, yep. and the hocks as well. So, yeah. Next time might be sausage making day. Might be, yeah. So it's definitely on our list of things to do. So, so if you haven't already, please hit that, well I should actually say, smash that thumbs up. That's right, smash that thumb. <laughs> and Hit the subscribe button. Yep. And otherwise, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. All right, bye. Bye for now. Hit the shit, um, the subscribe. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that again.